everyone. In this video, we'll be going over the newborn blanket brushes in the Lux Newborn Collection from Pretty Actions. Uh, so let's go ahead and scroll down to our blanket brushes. Okay, you've got five distinct different brushes in this collection uh, to fix and make your blankets look beautiful. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start off with blanket fill. Okay, and with this image, obviously we've got a gap in the blanket uh, area on the corner there, and that's quite um, that happens quite often with newborn photography. Super simple fix. I'm going to select the blanket fill action and press play. Uh, continue. Follow the prompts on your screen. Press continue again. Okay. Now I have my color picker box that pops up and my uh, color picker eye dropper tool is automatically uh, selected here for me. So all I have to do is select a color within the blanket that you want to use. So I like to use my eye dropper tool and select a color very close to the edge. Usually not right on the edge because that seems to be a bit darker, but close to it. And press OK. You know, my action has played. And uh, you want to make sure your brush is selected. If you don't see it, just right click on your tool panel and brush tool. Make sure your brush opacity is also at 100% here. Now I can make my brush larger and smaller by using the left and right bracket keys. I'm going to use a large brush uh, in this case just to make that all the more easy to paint over. Okay, so that looks quite nice. Super simple fix. Uh, if you find that the color really isn't blending or matching well, that's simple. Just open your folder by uh, clicking on the little triangle here. Uh, if you have Photoshop Elements, scroll to the bottom of your collection and you'll run the open folder action. Okay, here's my little color box. It's labeled Sample Blanket Color. I'm going to double click on it and I can click around and change the color. Okay, to make that match the blanket better. This one matched quite well, so I'm going to keep that as is, and I can close it up and flatten and move on from there. Okay, so next we're going to, uh, let's see what image we have here. Okay, we're going to run hazy edges on this one and see what that does. Okay, it runs quite the same as the previous action. Okay, so it's very specific to your image. Again, I get to sample a color that I want to use when adding a nice soft hazy edge to this image. Um, since I'm going around the edges, I think I want it to be a little bit darker. I may go back in and change the, the color in a moment. Um, so I'm kind of selecting from some of the shadows in the Flocati rug here. Okay, so paint with a soft white brush around the edges of your image to apply the haze. But I do want to add that you want to paint with a larger brush uh, just to make this easier. Okay, again, my opacity is at 100%. And I'm just painting around the edge of the image. Okay, and let's say uh, you make an accident and paint over baby here. Obviously, you don't want to do that. Um, so to fix that, I'm going to go down here to my color palette, bring black to the foreground color. I still have my brush selected, the layer mask is still selected. I'm just going to paint over baby to remove that. And if you're having a hard time seeing where you've already painted, like there's a lot of neutral tones in this image and it's kind of hard to see where, where I've already painted aside from seeing the, the white uh, brush strokes on the layer mask. You can just press the backslash key. Everything that's red has not been painted. Everything where you see the color showing through is where you painted. So I'm going to press that again to make it go away. Um, now I can brush some more to make the haze uh, larger and come in uh, more towards the center of the photo. It's very customized. You can also take the actual opacity of the action right here and I can bring it down and remove some of the haze. You can also bring it up and make it more uh, distinct. I'm going to keep that as is. So real quick before and after, very subtle. Um, and again, you can open your folder and change the color by double clicking on your little uh, sample blanket layer. Okay, and click around within there until you find something that matches uh, well with your image. Okay, so 
Moving on to this image, let me just drag these to the trash can so we can start fresh. Okay, so I'm going to use blanket fill on this one again. And I'm following the prompts, I'm going to click somewhat of a lighter color and make my brush smaller. And I'm just going to fill in that corner. Okay, so it kind of looks obvious that I painted with the, the sharp edge there. So I'm going to lower my opacity to about 30 percent and one brush stroke, maybe two over that just to kind of fade the um, enhancement. And you can make your brush larger and lower the opacity and kind of just go over until that looks pretty na a little more natural than what you had started off with. Okay, so I like that. Now I'm going to run blanket fade over. Okay, I love how these are all customized to your image because with newborn photography, you literally have a zillion different blanket colors and you're not going to have actions that are going to match them all unless it's customized so that you can pick the color for each action. Okay, so I think we're going to Select. I like that color. Okay, so with this action, it provides a fade uh, so that your blanket slowly blurs and fades uh, wherever you paint. Now I'm going to bring my opacity back up. Okay, I think I'm going to lower this because it's quite strong. But again, this is helping me get a nice uh, blend between the blanket here. So I like that at 34%. Okay, nice blend. I can also open and change the color here as well. And moving on, uh, I'm gonna drag this to the trash. What we're doing is using the blanket to wall transition. Look at the before here. You've got a gap between the blanket and the wall. Maybe your gap isn't quite as big, but you can still see that line. This action will fix that very simply. I'm gonna press play. Okay. So notice how the, the backdrop gets darker down here towards the crease. I don't want that darker color. I want to select a, a nice light neutral tone in the backdrop here. Uh, again, I may go back and change that in a moment. So paint with a soft white brush. Make your first brush stroke medium sized at 100% opacity across where the blanket and wall intersect. Next, lower your brush opacity to 75% or lower if desired to, tar, uh, to largen uh, enlarging your brush, I can't read today, uh, for a soft haze over your first stroke. Okay, so continue. I'm going to make my brush size um, right around here so I know I can cover the, um, the gap between the blanket and the wall. My brush size is at one, uh, or opacity is at 100%. I'm just going to paint over here. Now with this one, I may have to paint a little bit more where the, the blanket and the wall intersect because I'm getting that really dark tone towards the edge of the, the backdrop. So right now it's pretty obvious, and I'm just going to bring the actual action opacity to 100%. Um, what I'm going to do to blend it in is largen my brush and bring the opacity down. I'm going to try... I like starting actually with a lower opacity and kind of working my way up. So, so what this does is just, and normally I would zoom in and just make sure I'm not getting this on her hand. I'm just going through this super fast for time purposes. Um, but I'm just clicking towards the top and bottom where I painted uh, earlier. And I'm going to zoom in here. I can see that it's a little bit darker around her hand. You can just really go in and target that area and uh, do a nice blend. Okay, so again, I obviously got this somewhat on her pants. I can bring black to the foreground color and just paint that off and just be a little bit more careful. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty, uh, quite nice. Um, and again, that's one simple action where you can just bring the, the wall color in and blend with your uh, backdrop. It works well with wood, flocati, uh, whatever you've got going on there for your setup. 
And one last action here is our change blanket color action. Let's go back to the first image we had open. Just a nice, now this is gonna work on any color. I just thought that we would be able to see more of a, you know, a dramatic change on a white backdrop. So I'm gonna press okay. Uh, and I literally get to go in and pick any color that I want to change this backdrop to. I'm thinking yellow, maybe a creamy yellow might be fun. Again, I can go in and change it later on if I look at it and I'm like, nah, I don't really like that tone of yellow with this image. That's definitely fine. Now, really important, you want to read the prompts that you're getting. You'll need to flatten your image after using this action to retain your blanket color. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So brush is selected. I'm going to bring the opacity up to 100%. I'm just going to start painting this on to the image. Now, uh, your, this paints over your image and still keeps the texture. So if you had had a textured blanket, or let me paint over baby's uh, wrap here for just a moment. See how the texture still stays? It's amazing. So you can use this change color, uh, blanket color on anything, uh, texture or no texture. So let me just take that off. I'm just going to Paint the blanket here. <clears throat> okay, there we go. And again, you'll want to zoom in and make sure you're getting a nice crisp edge. Um, make your brush larger for getting the larger areas um, around baby. Okay, I'm just going to zoom through this here, guys. Okay, guys, so. I've got the blanket entirely filled in here. I'm not quite sure I like the, the yellow color. I haven't yet gone in and edited baby skin. I like to use the blanket br brushes before going in and get started on getting started on skin and other uh, further edits. So um, I can easily open the folder, uh, pick blanket color, I'm gonna double click on that. And I can go in and select different shades of yellow. I'm thinking maybe something a little bit lighter, like this tone will look really nice. Uh, or I can go in and pick a different color altogether just by going in and clicking in this box. There's some really pretty blues um, and the options are unlimited. Uh, so really super fun. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the, the tutorial and have lots of fun using your Blinkit brushes.